Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to education, information, inspiration, guidance, and advice. And those of you who are familiar with uh, the series of uh, our videos here at the Imuna Project know that I am always drawn to verses in the Torah, verses in the Tanakh, that are unusual that have uh, an odd juxtaposition. Words are not exactly the way you expect them. Those attract me. And I am thinking of um, a verse in um, Deuteronomy uh, 28, 14. And it says, listen carefully. And do not turn away from any of the words, this is the words of the Torah, do not turn away from any of the words right or left to follow gods of others to worship them. This strikes me as odd. The first part of the verse is admonishing, him not, admonishing us not to deviate even a little bit to the left or the right. So don't go to the left or the right even slightly from the word of God and to serve other gods, which is basically, you know, the worst thing you can do. <laughs> and to follow gods of others and worship them. Idolatry of the Zara, one of the worst things you can do. Uh, it seems, there seems to be an inconsistency uh, in this verse. Um, so who's this referring to? Um, someone who deviates slightly, who gives in to a bit of temptation, this is the same as a person who has abandoned God and has accepted idolatry? I don't know. So, fortunately, who comes to our rescue? The medieval Italian commentator, uh, Torah commentator, Sforno. And Sforno interprets to follow the gods uh, of others, um, Elohim Acharim, uh, Elohim gods, others, Acharim, Elohim Acharim, other gods. Other gods in Judaism are by definition false gods. Um, he, in, Sforno, interprets this verse as referring to someone who prefer, performs mitzvahs or who prays by rote. He's doing it just because, with peer pressure uh, or um, because that's what his, uh, his father did. And his grandfather did. Well, uh, he does it this way, so uh, you know I'm keeping kosher because my, uh, my father and my grandfather kept kosher. Um, my father and grandfather were in the Klan, so I'm in the Klan. My father and grandfather were Nazis, so I'm a Nazi. That, that he has no feelings because he doesn't care, which is horrible. Or he doesn't know, which is tragic, but education cures ignorance. Um, this... Sforno is saying that doing something by rote, not thinking, not caring, not knowing, it's an act of rebellion uh, against the Creator. Um, because it only takes one small step, uh, one slight turn in either direction, a little bit of insensitivity toward uh, the manner in which we uh, serve the Creator. And... Um, it could, it could create the perception of disobedience to God, chas v'shalom, God forbid, or even worse, idolatry, following the customs and the religions uh, of others. To serve the Creator, to serve Hashem, to serve God, is to have a conviction and to demonstrate commitment at all times. To obey God, to, to, to do the will of God when it's convenient or when it's in vogue, that's easy. Um, doing it when it's not convenient. Doing so when, uh, when it costs you. That has meaning. Doing it because everyone's doing it, there's, there's not a lot of merit in that. That's not the manner in which we serve God. We do it because it's true. We do it because we believe it. And Ahavas um, Hashem, uh, and Avodas Hashem, the love of God and the service of God, doing something, um, that's 
something that should be carried out with enthusiasm and excitement as befits the Lord God. Um, let us not be complacent in anything, but least of all in this. When we're serving God, when we're performing mitzvahs, when we're praying, um, let's know what we're doing and mean it and be fully aware that we are communicating with and serving God. Um, don't just do it by rote. Don't just mumble the words and your mind is off thinking of what you're going to have for lunch. That's not the way we serve God. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.